so one more step uh, we have to tell as when we are building our uh, uh, project it will say us that we have not included that chip because uh, as uh, we are using DSP based configuration when we will build that uh, uh, particular project it will make some uh, files by itself it will generate some file we can see in this folder here in the project directory that in that uh, particular folder generated file it generates the file for TSP bias configuration okay so it already uh, generated three files so the same when we'll build the project it will generate one file that is oscfg.h so every time if we are making that uh, project with a DSP bias we have to include that file into our project that is include here we have to write our name uh, configuration name OS then after CFG dot H so uh, now our DSP bias configuration is over so we can uh, again build that project and uh, we can uh, simply go on file and load that program it will does the same thing but by using the DSP bias it, it, it includes the DSP bias also so we can uh, see it here as we can uh, click on sample projects and we can click on build so it is saying us that there is no error here so we have to go on file and we have to load that program we have to click uh, on the out file we have to click on open so now it's burning that program into your DSP kit but that actual program is with a DSP bias uh, because uh, whatever we are uh, uh, burning into this uh, kit uh, that works with the DSP bias operating system actually so uh, just click on F5 and we have to see that uh, the same LED is blinking but uh, that is through the DSP bias operating system so in our case we have just uh, included the DSP bias we have not uh, used that scheduling or uh, memory management so uh, uh, for right now I will uh, show you that how to use that periodic function uh, scheduler in our case so for that uh, we have uh, we, ca we cannot use that uh, infinite loops uh, here so we have to just stop that infinite loop uh, whatever the uh, toggling we were uh, going to do with a while loop that we will uh, try to do with a scheduler by using DSP by scheduler for that uh, just uh, we have to firstly uh, we have to uh, make our periodic uh, functions uh, in the DSP bias configuration for that just open this and open that CDB file so in this CDB file uh, you can see that there is system management there is instrumentation management uh, one is scheduling synchronization input outputs and CSL for uh, our right now we will just simply expand this scheduling and we will go for periodic function manager that is PRD we will right click here and we will insert one PRD that is periodic function manager uh, in that PRD so we will gi give it some name uh, we will just rename it uh, by using LED1 simply and again we will right click here Uh, we'll again right click here and we'll go into the properties so in the properties we have to select that periodics that uh, after uh, how much uh, time it should be uh, uh, that func that function should be called so we can write something simply like 200 so what is the mode continuous or one shot means we want to uh, uh, execute this particular uh, function that PRD for uh, one time or for a continuous time so we are going for a continuous so the function name we have uh, we have to write the function name by using that uh, uh, underscore so we can write it just a simple LED one this is our function name okay so in our case we are uh, so speed, uh, we have made it so next step is to just to close this and uh, save changes to OS so now whatever the PRD we have made that we have not to include into the main file we have to include that uh, we have to define that function uh, outside that main file 
so what we have to uh, write is just simply write void and that uh, particular function name that was led1 so inside we can write that what we have to do we have to simply toggle that led it will tick that particular led1 function after 200 uh, t timings after 200 ticks you can say so this particular toggle function we can write it here so now we can uh, simply uh, build that code well, we'll s so it has burned that code it's showing that there is no error so we'll go on file uh, firstly we'll just stop that kit by using some shift f5 from here debug and shift f5 just halt it go on file just load the program sample project So here uh, click on open so it's burning the uh, file into your DSP so it has burned the file now we have to run that DSP kit so click on F5 here and we can see that the LED is blinking uh, the same LED is blinking with some fast weight here so uh, uh, that is the uh, it's actually blinking by using that uh, uh, DSP bias uh, operating system so what we have uh, what we can do right now is uh, just we can uh, we can see here just it is uh, uh, just a minute so uh, we can see here that the LED is blinking here it's blinking at a very fast rate so uh, so now what we will do is we will make some another PRD and we will uh, include some another uh, LED to toggle uh, into that particular PRD and we will uh, take it uh, after some uh, to 400 times uh, after 400 so for that we have to do that same thing we have to go into OS CDB In that uh, we have to uh, again go on scheduling and we have to go in PRD we have to make a new insert new PRD and uh, we can give it a name uh, we can give it a name like uh, LED2 LED2 so in that we have to go into the properties in that properties uh, we can we'll select 400 here so the time uh, here we can select that LED 2 so we have to click on OK just close this and uh, click yes and now uh, add a new function here by using just void LED 2 I just write here DSK 6713 underscore LED underscore toggle you can write some maybe uh, so you can use the second one so here we have uh, toggled this second one and this zeroth by using that PRDs. So uh, now work is over. So right click on sample project and build that project. 
so now go on file click on load program click on sample project just open it so now it will burn your code so it has burned that code just click on F5 and we can see that one LED is blinking uh, at a very fast rate that was uh, by using 200 and one is blinking after some time means it at a double rate at this so like this uh, it's a function of PRD by using the DSP bias function so uh, we can use uh, another functionality of that system or uh, that was just a, a quick way to how to make a new project with a DSP bias or without DSP bias so thank you